And we are underway in Buffalo. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. So that a nightmarish start to a football game as they give the ball away on the opening kickoff. And they put their defense in a bind right away. They have to go into protect mode. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Gainwell is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. So a good job there, Charles, taking advantage of the short field, and they score first, punching it in on the short touchdown run. I love the theme there, right? They didn't have to do anything big on that drive. Took advantage of where they were on the field, took it downfield, put the ball. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And it's caught inside the five, and he gets in. Well, no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And from his corner spot, that was James Bradbury on the defensive side. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Allen now on first down. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. He's got room at the 30. And he takes it all the way down to the 22. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. Flush to his right. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Allen to throw once more. And this is Cook with a grab. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Allen now looks to throw. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs from 17 yards out. And the Bills have come back to make it a two-point game. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And this is now a one-point game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Austin Scott on the return from his end zone. And he doesn't even get this to the 10. He's taken down at the 9. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. Ball at the 14 for second and 5. Hurt sets up to throw it. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. 
I know I spend a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Play action. Here's Hurts. Looking left sideline, it's complete. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. A tight one. 8-7 our score after one on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Back to the running game with Swift. Evades the tackler and now some space. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 23, here's second and a couple. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. On second down, Swift. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, and some nice running right there. That's what got them the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. Well, they'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Two minutes even in what's been a tight first half. 8-7, our score. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Swift. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use... The back end of the end zone, the sidelines is extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, Three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. The offense is going to stay out there. We'll see what the play call is. They need... And he's in! Front Eagles touchdown! Kenneth Gainwell with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with... Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he gets in! But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more their lead now after the touchdown here's Elliot on to kick it away And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. 
And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their route. Stephon Diggs! And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A first and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Buying time to his left. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. He turned that into a nice gain. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Now Allen. Flushed out right. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing now is Allen. Dancing to his left. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Khalil Shakir in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bills are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the... And now it's blocked. It's picked up a live ball here. And now the rookie's free. And all the way into the end zone, and that's two points. That is a play that you just do not see very often. Maybe a couple times a year, the blocked extra point return for two. You can't afford to give anyone a free run at the kicker. Oftentimes, it's going to bounce off his hands or chest and head the other direction. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. Room here to run. Down the left sideline. Inside the 20, DeAndre Swift. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Well, fans of old school football, they got to be loving this partner. All three drives so far have ended in a touchdown and all three on the ground. And when you say fans of old school football, count me in because you just don't see ground games dominate the scoring by pounding the rock like this anymore. To me, this is refreshing. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And they decide fairly early here they need the ball back, so here's an onside kick. And the Eagles' hands team able to cover it up. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing, Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators. They set. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. 
Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Yeah. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. They run again on first down. Cook. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They run it again with Cook. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. The tackle by N'Kobe Dean. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by the corner. And the Eagles are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. The Eagles' offense set to begin their next drive. But the last drive for this offense, Charles, you remember it ended in one play, that quick interception, but they do still have the lead as they start this drive here. And that's something to focus on for them as well because it's not quite no harm, no foul, but the interception, hey, shake it off, move on. Hasn't cost your team the lead. And now it's time to rebound. And the quarterback and his teammates, they can add to the lead with a good drive here. 125 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. They'll run right here with Swift. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now a give, right side, Swift. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll come up facing third and five. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. That is caught. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. We always hear about guys wanting to make plays that quiet a crowd. Shh. Yeah. After that one. Here in the third quarter, they were hoping to get the stop, get the football back. Not the case. What a completion on a fourth down play. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Once again, it's Swift. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. On the handoff, this is Swift. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. They go play action with Hertz. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Here's Hertz to throw. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Eagles have pretty well. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. It's caught inside the five. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. And the Bills are going to recover. 
Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. Blitz coming, and down he goes. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Here's Hallett. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox, and he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And they take him down, the Bills get to him. Leonard Floyd in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Hurts. That one complete down the field to Smith. Touchdown! Devontae Smith with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead, and now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. And the Bills are going to recover. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage is switched to their opponent. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Here's Allen on first and 10. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Bills. Stephon Diggs. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills get a bit closer. And oh, it's blocked. That's a live ball scooped up by the offense. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. They're still throwing the football here. Now, obviously, the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, 75 yards. And the Eagles are able to add on to that lead. 
But not much defensive resistance on that drive. And really, Charles, the way this offense has been humming, they haven't faced much defensive resistance the entire game. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that one team, their defense did not wake up and make it to the stadium for this one. There may be some major changes on that side of the ball when we see them the next time out. Oh, it looked like the Eagles got this back. Yes, Philadelphia football. Well, there you go. Just your everyday leading big and you onside kick it with a lead. They got it. I mean, it worked, but interesting call. I think because they have such a margin, they feel a little bit bolder about what they're doing. And it's not only just to try and increase their lead, but that's their way of saying we're in full control of this game and we can kind of do what we want. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He's going deep for Brown. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. This has just really been a solid second half from them, CD, as they add another touchdown to the lead, and they start to pull away in what was once a close ball game. Yeah, they actually put the Jets on in this one, didn't they? Put a little cherry on top of that touchdown. Now he's got to play out this final minute, and they'll get a chance to celebrate a very hard-earned victory. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. And the Bills are going to recover. And that's why you have your hand team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it. It was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three. Look at this! Middle of the field, a breakaway! And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. On third and long, it's Allen. Escaping the pressure right. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Avante Maddox. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and... It got his man complete. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. 
Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill, but remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes, and that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Elliott good with a PAT, and this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. to the right side and incomplete. So fly, Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And really, it looked at times like they just had this one in cruise control out there. Yeah, they deserve a ton of credit because you and I both know, heck, they knew. But this is a tough place to play. Overcame that with ease. Robbed home with an easy win. And here's the best part for them. It'd be easy to get to the airport because the crowd left pretty early in this one, didn't they? Well, plus they have a police escort. Okay, you had to spoil <laughs> that part of it. Of course, they're going to get there. But think about how wide open things are now because this crowd didn't expect this. No. So they went back to the tailgate and said, let's go eat. This, this one didn't any fun for us. Yeah, they took the drama out of this one pretty early on. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.